our top equation here is quadratic. That means it's going to be a parabola. Um, and the easiest way to, um, to graph a parabola is to make a table of values. Um, in order to figure out what's going to go into the middle of your table of values, we're going to use this negative b over 2a trick. So I want to remind you that every quadratic equation in standard form looks like this, ax squared plus bx plus c. So this a right here is talking about the number in front of x squared, which in our problem is 1. And then your b value is the number in front of x, and that in this problem is negative 3. So I'm going to take these numbers and plug them in. So we're going to have negative b, which is negative 3, over 2 times a, which is 1. Um, negative negative 3 is positive 3, and then 2 times 1 is 2. Um, I could make that into a decimal and make it 1.5. Makes it a little bit easier to graph, I think. Now, to fill out the rest of our table, we're going to count down two numbers and count up two numbers, but we're only going to use whole numbers. So if I counted down from 1.5, I would count to 1 and then 0, and then if I counted up, it would be 2 and 3. Next thing I'm going to do is take my um, vertex and I'm going to figure out what my y value would be. Um, so I'm going to go to my calculator, <clears throat> and what, I'm going to, what I like to do is store the number. So I'm going to do 1.5 and then store x, and the store button is right next to 1. And then you press enter. And now I'm just going to type in the problem. So I'm going to type in x squared minus 3x minus 4. And when I press enter, it gives me my y value. So negative 6.25. So I'm going to go back here and I'm going to fill in negative 6.25. And then now the next thing I'm going to do is to get the rest of my values, I actually have a choice. I could do the same thing with 0 and 1 and 2 and 3. I would have to store four separate numbers. Or you can go to a table of values. So since I've already shown you how to store, I'm going to show you next the table of values. So I'm going to go to y equals, and I've already typed in the function here, and now I'm going to go to the table. So I'm going to press second graph. And I just need to find the numbers that are on my table. So my, my lowest x value is 0. So I'm just going to copy down these numbers. So I'm going to copy down that 0 goes with negative 4, 1 is negative 6, 2 is negative 6, and 3 is negative 4. So I'm going to go back to my... Um, notes here, and I'm going to fill in those numbers. So negative 4, negative 6, negative 6, and negative 4. Now all we have to do is plot these numbers, or plot these points. So 0, negative 4 would be right here. 1, negative 6. Um, 1 and a half, and then negative 6.25 would be kind of in the middle of the box. And then I would have 2, negative 6, and 3, negative 4. So if I connect these dots, this is where my parabola is. Okay, so that was the hard part. My other line um, at the bottom, my second equation, that's just a horizontal line at y equals negative 4. So here's negative 4, and I'm just going to draw a horizontal line that goes right through it. So I can now see that I have two solutions. Uh, my first solution is right here where these two things cross, and then this is my second solution. So what I'm really looking for are the ordered pairs. Um, so this first one here, my uh, solution would be 0, negative 4. And then this other point right here, um, it looks like um, 3, negative 4. So these two points right here are the solutions to this problem.